And he does answer by lightning. <laughs> because those booklets were light to my soul. And they broke free a mountain of traditions and set me on a course uh, that's been years. The traditions are still falling off of me. But that day, I asked for the lightning of God to kill me. I got the lightning. I got it. The first time I ever talked about the lightning of God was uh, about three years ago in a, in a small church in s South Carolina, North Carolina, somewhere there. It was an evening session. And I uh, said, this evening I'm going to be talking about the lightning of God. And I swear, within five seconds, a bolt of lightning hit within probably a mile of that place and shook the building. There were like 30, 40 people there. It shook me too. It was like, I think that's a confirmation that I've got the right theme tonight. I didn't plan on speaking about this today. Um, so all my notes, uh, we, we're planning, a friend of mine uh, and I are planning on doing a DVD called The Lightning of God. It was go it's going to be a, a DVD that is aimed at the secular world and the spiritual world um, and talk about lightning from, from both perspectives. Um, I didn't plan on talking about that today, so I've got tons of notes and references, uh, and I don't have them here. And so what's coming to you is going to be a short version um, just off the top of my head, but I think it's appropriate for this message for today, and I think there's enough in my head that I think um, it will encourage some of you to leave this conference and go back into your Bible and dig out the stuff yourself for the things that I would have shared, but I don't have the references here, but, but I'm, I, this is hopefully a, a, a wetter of, a, of your appetite. You know, what, what I'm sharing here right now. Uh, yesterday, people were asking, where are we going? <coughs> I believe I know where we're going. I, we, I believe we're going back to our Father's house. Amen. And our Father's house is a house of Is a house of prayer. And uh, I've been in this message of universal salvation for a long time. And I've studied it as well as any man here on earth, with the exception of maybe St uh, Steve Jones. He might, uh, he might have dug into those uh, old history books more than I have. But I, I know this message, and I know the history of it, and I know the people that are in it today. And... Um, I believe if there's any place in this body of universal salvation, sonship, kingdom, sovereignty, whatever, that, that we need to rise up a level or two or three or four or five, it's in that, the very thing that we're called to do is the very thing that we have the greatest distance to, to go in, I think. When I read of the revivals, the Pentecostal revivals, and the Zusa Street, and the Welsh revival, and whatnot, and I read about the level of prayer that, that is in those, that, that preceded those, those moves of God, and I look at the meetings that we've had here in the UR circles and whatnot, they've got something on us. I tell you, those old Pentecostals and, and those charismatics, when it comes to, uh, you know, the ingredients uh, that we're going to have to bring together as a body of Christ to offer up to our Father, some of those older movements are, have got a few steps up on us, don't they? And um, so I want to kind of uh, encourage us to uh, look at some of those ingredients and to uh, be ref re reflect on those things and to uh, begin to incorporate them in our lives when we go back and when we come together. The Bible is full of lightning, but it's hidden. It's hidden in our translations. The King James 
hides 90% of the references to the lightning of God are hidden by words like gleaming, glistening, flashes. Um, they're using terms that are different than lightning. But if you look at the Greek or the Hebrew behind it, it is lightning, as you know, from the clouds coming to the earth, that kind of lightning. Hundreds of references in the Bible that speak about the lightning of God. Lightning, in the natural, comes about, the theory goes, they're really still not 100% sure that they've got lightning all figured out. In a turbulence in the heavenlies, and these uh, particles of, uh, of ice bounce off each other, and uh, some of them lose electrons, some of them gain electrons, and there's this turbulence in the heavens, if you can hear some of this stuff, it's everything that I'm going, saying about the natural heaven, natural things here, by the way, there's a spiritual counterpart. And s some of you fireworks should be going off in your minds as I talk about these natural things that occur in natural lightning. Because we're going to be a lightning people. So in the natural, there's this turbulence in the heavens, the positive uh, charged Particles go to the upper atmosphere. The negative charged particles go to the lower atmosphere. And these negative, at, negative charged particles don't like being separated like that. And they need, need a release. They want to go somewhere. They want to hook up. And so there's a discharge of electrons leaving that, sometimes it's cloud to cloud, 